So earlier today, I was uh, perusing through Twitter or X, whatever you may call it, and I came across this. I came across this right over here. This is from Assassin's Creed France, their official Twitter page. All right, so it has 524,000 followers, okay? And they posted this couple images, and I believe this is supposed to be some kind of Japan Expo. So we're gonna translate it live, and I'll read it live, okay? It says, Katana and Yasuke Mask by Pure Arts Limited, or even artwork from the game. Our Ubisoft stand at Japan Expo offers you an immersive experience will immerse you in the spirit of the game with us until Sunday, July 14th. So that's recent. Came recently. So I believe there's this. All right. There's a stand thing. So I can only read, I'm a fake Asian. I can only read the, the, the three letters in, in, the, in the middle. This is water, fire, and wind. Uh, I believe this is maybe the elements. I'm not sure. Okay, the Yasuke mask and this geisha looking doll. But I believe this thing is getting heavily ratioed, and that's not great. And let's see why. So Savvy over here, uh, see, shout out Savvy. The cultural vandalism is uh, tragically hilarious. Imagine buying random stuff from Amazon for an official <laughs> display and not checking the meaning of any of it. How lazy are you people? The cultural appropriation and colonization is insane from a company claiming to care about representation and DEI. Thank you for, for, for proving how hollow you lot really are, as if we need more proof. Now, if we go back, you even got people in Japan who are uh, who are like extremely upset. Right, right over here. So this is what this says, Adaibu, Adaibu, uh, says, you're seriously picking a fight if you see something you bought on Amazon. <laughs> No way, man. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. What's this one? I don't really understand the meaning of the kanji. What are you lined up for? All right, so let's go down. So right over here, let's translate this. Wow, doesn't look like exactly like the... Doesn't it look exactly like the sword of Rowan Nora Zoro, a character from One Piece manga? Do you have permission to use Suecia? Do you... No way. No way, dude. This is a sword from One Piece? What's this person say? You can, can you stop taking us for idiots? You see a katana comes from One Piece. <laughs> no. Already, you didn't have the authorization to do it, Ubisoft. If you also mix it with one of the manga, we no longer <laughs> no longer makes sense. And here's the thing. Like what Savvy said, how lazy are them? How lazy is Ubisoft taking oh we found a very cool red katana online. Let's use it. And not check where it came from. Did you not know that One Piece has been out for about 20 years? More than 20 years now. And you did not check? You did not bother to check? This is insane. Another person says, The Japanese vomit at you because you shit on their culture. The history? Uh, never in my life I would pay for your turd. Ghost of Tsushima does much better. Man. Man. Oh, here it is. Ah, this. It says One Piece Zoro. It comes, uh, it even comes with the stand. I think Assassin's Creed is hopelessly out of luck. No fucking way. No way. Katana One Piece Zoro Sa uh, Sandai Kitetsu. <laughs> no way, man. Did they not use re reverse Google or reverse image search? This is, this is beyond bad. Wow. They bought it for four. It wasn't even that expensive, dude. This is like probably like 20 bucks or $30, man. Wow. 
No way. Here's another one right here. Zoro sword? Oh my god, dude. Oh man. Oh man, dude. Man. So here's the thing, Project Egg Row, we made a um a video that has like a, almost 8,000 views now. And there's a lot of Japanese people who are commenting on this whole Assassin's Creed Shadows debacle. This is crazy, crazy game. See, I'm sure they just picked out some cheap things that look similar and lined them up. But if that's the case, they shouldn't have uploaded it with a smug look on their face. Yep, true. Man, this is so bad. Oh my god. No way! This is the link? Wait. You can buy the entire Zoro set right here. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, wh while you're at it, might as well just buy the Demon Slayer one. Yeah, right here. Just buy, just, just, just buy Zenitsu's. <laughs> just, just buy, just buy Ichigo's sword, man. Just, buy, just buy it, dude. Yo, this Ichigo sword, yeah, right here. This Demon Slayer one from uh, was it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, dude. Why would they do this? Why, why, why would, why would they do this, man? Stolen Valor? Oh my god, dude. I wonder if Oda knows about this, dude. I wonder if Oda knows right over here. Here's another one. Hey, hey, hey. Anything goes now. Isn't this exactly like Zoro Sandai Kitetsu from One Piece? Man. Oh, man. Have you stolen? You have stolen too many designs and are out of control. What's the point of being a thief instead of an assassin? I wonder if they're going to come out and give an official formal apology for this right the reason why i'm asking is because uh ubisoft was caught using a um and reenactment like flag like a banner and they use it in their art and they use it in their in their game right they also use it in the concept art and they actually came out with official apology saying that sorry sorry we're gonna change how this looks like in game we're gonna change out the textures but we're not going to change out the concept art book because we already printed those. So, man, how many more stolen shit are they going to use, man? This is crazy. Even people from France are saying shit, man. Oh, my God, dude. This is... Oh, this is so bad. I, I this, this one didn't translate correctly. Please stop stealing designs from Japanese content and, and cultural assets. Japanese people can spot plagiarism right away. Man, they are pissed. Wait, what? There's more? I'm cool. I'm going to get one. It's cool. I'm going to get one. No, he's going to buy one. <laughs> he's going to buy the Roanor Zoro Sword. Wait, you can also buy the Geisha doll? No. Everything was bought off of Amazon, dude. Oh my god, man. I can't believe it. It just gets worse and worse, dude. Sandai Kitetsu. You see. Kitetsu. Sandai Kitetsu. Oh my god. One of his swords. Oh my. There it is. That's the sword. Man. Man. Ain't that something? Ain't that something, man? Oh my god, these people are pissed. It's like putting Buddha statue on a mosque and putting the Quran in Urdu. Man, yeah, these guys are mad. Yeah, they're mad. Let's see, uh, so so essentially, Yasuke served Oda. He used the words Earth, Water, Wind. Fire, Sky, the Book of the Five Rings, which I've written in the hometown of Kumamoto. So here's the thing. Yasuke did serve Oda. Oda Eiichiro from One Piece. <laughs> the creator of One Piece, man. He didn't serve Oda, o uh, Oda Nobunaga. He served Oda Eiichiro. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. Oh, man, they're cooked. It's done. 
Oh, it's done, man. You thief. Katana design One Piece character, Rono Zoro. He have Katana. That's crazy. Oh, my God, dude. And the Geisha right over here, dude. Oh, my God. How much was that Geisha? Like, five bucks? It looks like something that you can get from, like, AliExpress, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're all... Yeah, they're... This is bad. This is so bad, dude. Yo, chat. Um... We should play the game. Are we gonna are we gonna play the game? Should we play the game? Do you see how bad it is? I don't wanna pay for it though. But man, this is really bad right over here. The characters written on the base of the sword are from esoteric Buddhism, a branch of Buddhism. Why is Yasuke a black man who is not Buddhist following Buddhist beliefs? Wow. Because they just don't give a fuck. Because they just don't care. Man. This this is this is this is amazing. This is this is absolutely incredible, dude.